All right, welcome back. So on deck today is going to be another 10 millimeter ballistics test. Uh, pretty excited about what we have today. Uh, so I've been bugging the guys at Federal for a while now. Every year I go to SHOT Show about making a 10 millimeter HST, and this year they delivered. So what we have is a 200 grain 10 millimeter HST. This is brand new to the market. I believe it actually released to the market this month. Uh, so haven't seen any uh, actual testing done on it, although uh, in speaking with the Federal reps, uh, it's shot. I have a pretty good or hopefully good idea what it's going to do. So if you guys watched my last video uh, last year, they uh, Spear released a 200 grain gold dot for the 10 millimeter. If you watched the video on that, you know it was a bit of a disappointment. Uh, I had a follow-up video where I hand loaded the projectile to where I hoped they would load the uh, projectile to, um, and it did much better. So Federal's claiming 1130 feet per second, and this is a purpose-built bullet for the 10 millimeter. Uh, so hopefully uh, it, this this round will deliver. Uh, HST rarely disappoints, so I'm pretty excited about this. And so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to fire into uh, one gallon water jugs uh, bare, and then we're going to do a heavy clothing test. Uh, we're also going to uh, hit it with the six inch barrel bare, uh, and then if all goes well, we'll put it through the simulated heavy bone test. Uh, we'll get started by putting uh, five rounds over the crony with the standard barrel and five rounds over the crony with the six inch barrel to see if we uh, get anywhere near the uh, listed velocity. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited to see how this turns out, so let's get this going. All right, this will be five rounds with the standard barrel. 1119. 1131. Got an error. 1079. 1131. Error. Come on, error. 1086. All right, so our low was 1079. Our high was 1137. Our average was 1111. All right, let's try with the six inch barrel. All right, this will be the six inch factory barrel. 1158, 11.05, 11.25, 11.47, and 11.39. And our average was 11.35. So we're hitting Federal's mark with the six inch barrel, but it looks like we're coming up short with our uh, standard four and a 4.6 inch barrel. Uh, interesting to note, we did get increased velocity with the six inch barrel, whereas when we uh, attempted this with the spear gold dot, we did not. We had the same velocity uh, for both the standard barrel and the extended. So, at least we can get uh, get a little more velocity with our six inch barrel in this loading. But let's go ahead and uh, get the terminal portion of this knocked out. All right, so here's the setup. We have our standard one gallon water jugs. These are approximately five inches thick. Uh, typically what I see is 1.5 times penetration in this setup as I do ordnance gel. Uh, so hopefully uh, we'll get somewhere into at least jug four, uh, possibly a little further. Would like to actually see a little bit more out of a 200 grain 10 millimeter, but uh, we'll find out. In case uh, we have any snafus and we have a pass through, uh, we have a catch box behind there to uh, capture a projectile. So let's get this going. All right, so this will be the standard length barrel in the bare jugs. All right, let's go check it out. All righty, jugs one and two are obviously destroyed. Nice hole through three, hole into four, and we have, appears to feel, yep, we have a little dent on four, and can't tell if we cracked five, but we have a dent on the back of four, so uh, we definitely got all the way in the four, which is good to see. Uh, I'll go ahead and dig that out there and see how she looks. All right, and that looks really, really good. Uh, I'll post velocities, uh, weights, and measurements and all in the description uh, down below. But yeah, that looks really good, especially with four jugs of penetration. Uh, a lot of times what we see with self-defense oriented ammunition uh, or even some of the juiced up 10 mil rounds is, is sometimes in, in these bear shots you can, you can get um, insufficient penetration at times or, or erratic penetration. Sometimes the rounds over expand, whatnot, and, and uh, cause some issues. Uh, but four jugs of penetration with uh, with a bear shot, that should be around 14 inches of penetration in ordnance gel. Uh, so yeah, that looks really good. So let's go ahead and uh, hit the heavy clothing and keep this going. All right, this will be our heavy cloth, four layers of denim. All right, let's go check it out. 
right, nice shot through the denim. Uh, one, two, three, four, and it's in jug five. So uh, we'll go ahead and dig that out. One thing to note, uh, as we're passing through, that expand around is leaving some pretty distinct holes in these plastic jugs. So um, that's good to see. All right, let me go ahead and dig it out. All right, and there it is. Uh, not the most expansion for an HST. It looks a little under expanded, uh, kind of similar to our gold dot. Um, good penetration, though. We had a crack on the back of jug five. Uh, some might say that's getting potentially excessive for self-defense, though that would be pretty good for uh, uh, game animals and whatnot. But, hmm, expected to see a little more expansion than this, considering this is an HST, but I'm wondering if our velocities aren't coming in a little low, and that's sort of affecting things, kind of like we saw with the gold dot. Hmm. All right, let's go ahead and launch it out of the 6-inch barrel and see what we get. All right, this will be a 6-inch barrel. Before we launch it through the bear jugs, uh, since we are getting increased velocity with the 6-inch barrel, I'm going to go ahead and hit the heavy denim just to see how that velocity change uh, affects the performance through clothing. All right, let's go check that out. All right. One, two, three, four crack on the back of four and a dent on jug five but no entry so I already see less penetration so I'm expecting to see more expansion let's go ahead and dig that out of there all right and there we go fully expanded uh, that looks a lot nicer so uh, hmm what to think of that well obviously the extra velocity is uh, giving it a little extra juice where it needs to be coming out of the six inch barrel but uh, let's go ahead and hit this uh, bear just to see if uh, we get a little excessive expansion and shallower penetration or if it still performs well given that extra velocity all right this will be bear with the six inch barrel all right let's go check that out all right and uh, yep see the bullet in jug four all right, so I'll go ahead and dig that out of there. All right, we got penetration in the jug four, even with what appears to be some massive expansion. So the round is not overdriven out of that six inch barrel by any means. In fact, uh, as we saw at the chronograph test, uh, we were coming in just above or right at uh, Federal's published velocities. Uh, and it appears that at those velocities, this is definitely a good performer. Um, Fortunately, we're coming up a little short on our standard barrel, but uh, ah, we'll give some final thoughts after the heavy bone test. Since this did well enough, we'll go ahead and, and see how that performs. All right, for those that haven't seen it, uh, this will be the simulated heavy bone test. So what we have is a 16-ounce water bottle uh, in front of a 2x8 covered with four layers of cotton t-shirt. Uh, the t-shirt is there not really as a clothing barrier, rather as to delay expansion slightly, because uh, typically I see slightly less expansion in game animals and whatnot uh, than we typically see in just a bare water test. Uh, so that's what that's there for. We're hoping to see expansion in our water bottle before we strike the board. Uh, once we strike the board, hopefully we'll expand it projectile. Uh, we see how far we can get in our standard one-gallon water jugs, and in case all goes awry we have our catch box uh, behind it so uh, let's go ahead and see how this shakes out all right we're gonna try this first with the factory four and a half 4.6 inch barrel uh, and depending on how we do our well we'll probably do it with a six inch barrel since we're seeing increased velocity and it did change the nature of expansion on our uh, previous test so all right let's see what we get all right let's go check it out Alrighty, obviously got expansion in our water bottle. Nice clean hit on our board. And jug one, two, looks like pretty good straight line penetration. Three, we have a dent on the back of three, but no exit. So, all right, I'll go ahead and dig that out of there. All right, and we see pretty good expansion. Uh, looks like good weight retention. Penetration was, uh, less than I had hoped. I was hoping to get in the jug four. So far it seems like my hand-loaded XTPs with the hand cantalure placed in them, 200 grainers, are the top performers in in this test. But uh, but this is a more self-defense oriented bullet, so not overly surprising. But let's go ahead and throw the six inch barrel in there and see if that extra velocity uh, changes the performance any. All right, this will be with the six inch barrel. Let's see if that added velocity boosts performance. All 
All right, let's go check that out. All right, so we obviously got expansion in our jug. Uh, hmm, looks like a bullet fragment here behind the board. So we hit some pretty hard spots in the board, but looks like one, two, wow. Okay, huh. Well, that's surprising. Sticking out of the back of jug too. Well, that's disconcerting. All right, let me dig that out of there and see what it looks like. Okay, uh, we had some fragments, small fragments, uh, mainly the lead on the pedals. Uh, obviously, we got good expansion. Uh, the projectile was actually turned around backwards, uh, and that's kind of what caught uh, in the plastic on the jug. Uh, and was sticking the base of the round was sticking out the back of jug two. That's uh, that's surprising. Um, I'm almost wondering if we didn't hit maybe a knot in the board, a really hard area, because with a 200 grain projectile, I think that's the shallowest penetration I've seen so far from a 10 millimeter. Huh. Well, tell you what, if I have enough. I gotta look and see if I have enough material. I kinda wanna do this one more time just to see because that's, uh, that's a surprising result, but a result nonetheless. Uh, yeah, let me see if I have enough material. I'll do this one more time. All right, uh, we'll try this one more time with the six inch barrel. We have just enough material for one more shot. Uh, we'll see if that was an anomaly or not sure what to make of that, but let's see if uh, it repeats. All right, let's go check that out. All right, already I can tell something's awry. You can see the expansion is definitely rapid uh, in our water bottle. You can see by the destruction being caused, that's a very uh, fairly large expanded round when it's impacting that board. Uh, you'll notice the rest of these jugs, none of them really exploded. We have jug one. I feel a dent on the back of two, and yep, it's in jug two. So, huh, let me dig that out of there. That is a surprising result though, but let me dig it out and see what it looks like. All right, and there it is. Uh, you can see how expanded that round is, so that's uh, an obvious indicator of why we're getting uh, the results we're getting, uh, repeatable results, I might add. Uh, that's surprising. Um, hmm, I honestly did not expect that. Uh, let me go ahead and take this back to the tailgate uh, and give some final thoughts and wrap this up. All right, so some final thoughts on the Federal HST 200 grain 10 millimeter. Um, a little mixed bag here. Uh, unfortunately, from the standard barrel, uh, we did not get to the average anyway. We didn't hit the published velocities. We came up a little short, uh, short enough that it did affect the performance. Now, still had pretty good performance. Uh, standard barrel, we still had good expansion in our barrel, which is not surprising with good penetration. Our heavy clothing was not as uh, full on the expansion. You can obviously uh, see there was more to be had there. However, it did expand and, and of course it penetrated more than adequately. And on our heavy bone test, uh, it did fairly well, uh, about average, three jugs of penetration. Um, so uh, from the standard barrel, um, not bad performance, but I would like to have seen this hit the published velocities as the average from the standard length barrel. All right, kick it up to the six inch barrel. We hit the published velocities. I believe we came in around 1135 ish. Uh, Federal list this at 1130. So we exceeded it by a little on a couple. I think we had up to about 1150. I'll post all this in the, in the description down below. But our average came in right about the publish, and it did change the performance. Uh, the bear shot, we had massive expansion that that's really really impressive um, in fact that looks more akin to like a, a well expanded 45 uh, however our penetration did not suffer that much uh, we still got good penetration even with this uh, massive expansion so that was good to see our heavy clothing shot looks perfect uh, excellent expansion excellent penetration uh, so from the longer barrels yeah this is an excellent performer for a personal defense application now Simulated heavy bone. Now, uh, what does this really represent? Well, 
uh, it represents what it represents. Uh, it, it is a we did get consistent results. Uh, we have results that we can compare to other loadings, and of course the idea of that is if you're if you fired at a larger animal with a large heavy bone structure, uh, being that uh, the round expands possibly before striking that bone structure, uh, how would that affect the penetration? And in this case, we did see penetration uh, affected noticeably from the six inch barrel. The expansion obviously looks really good, but that rapid expansion, while great for personal defense, uh, it came up a little short in the penetration department uh, against that particular test. So what's the takeaway from this? Well, personally, uh, I would carry this for personal defense. The recoil is it's definitely noticeable, but it's not excessive. Um, out of the six inch barrel, I, this would definitely be my choice for personal defense. Out of the six inch barrel, this is one of the better loadings, if not uh, one of the best loadings I've seen so far from the 10 millimeter. I just wish we could have got those average velocities out of our standard barrel, because as far as personal defense is concerned, if you're hitting their published velocities, um, yeah, this this is an, an excellent round. Good penetration, excellent expansion, nothing to complain about there. Now, as a game bullet, if you're kind of doing dual duty, uh, packing your 10 mil out on the trail. Um, depending on the size of the critters you plan on encountering, this may not be the best option. Uh, certainly it would still poke a hole in things and uh, and, and still be fairly effective, uh, as pistols go anyway, but that shallow penetration would deter me a little bit if I was worried about really large bone structure type critters, uh, but still wanting to carry around uh, that was effective for personal defense. Uh, I think I'll still stick with my uh, XTP with the hand cantalure put in it, uh, my hand loads for trail use or at least if I plan on encountering any kind of larger critters but for general purpose uh, use and self-defense uh, particularly if I'm packing the six inch barrel um, yeah this this is uh, this is really good uh, for that application but ha, so a little bit of a mixed bag of results uh, like the gold dot we came up a little short on velocity like the gold dot had we hit the published velocities as the average uh, the performance changed uh, the good news for this is we were able to do that by increasing the barrel length whereas with the gold dot loading for whatever reason the powders they were using we didn't see any increase in velocity uh, it just was what it was so at least you have that option with the HST so a little bit of a mixed bag of results six inch barrel personal defense uh, maybe you could uh, factor them maybe with a five inch barrel if you have your 1911s and whatnot yeah definitely a winner still a good performer out of the standard length barrel for uh, just general purpose use um, came up a little short for heavy critters if you would but um, yeah the results are what they are so it's nice to see more factory options coming out for 10 mil that are more purpose built but this uh, seems to be a case of once again possibly this could have been done a little bit better in terms of the load uh, the load performance um, velocity wise to achieve that optimal level of expansion and penetration uh, however at least we are able to get it with the longer barrel so all right guys take away from this what you will um, that's it for today if you guys like this kind of content and you haven't already done so please like and subscribe share the video it helps the channel out uh, as always I appreciate your comments guys uh, let me know down below what you think about all this uh, but as always please keep your comments professional and I'll see you guys next time